Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back, glad you're here. Uh, tools are limited at the moment, everything's locked in, uh, in my cargo trailer, the, the 16 footer, the, the white one. Um, duh, 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 duh. Need a hammer and a punch and some wire tools. Oh, what do I do, I don't have anything. No! All right, here we go. There's some wire strippers. See, there's some lights in that, that new trailer. Um, the problem is, is they're not connected, so I want to try to uh, to set up that 120 volt circuit box, breaker box, and uh, see if I can't get everything connected so I can at least run maybe like an extension cord out there and uh, get some light. So I'm looking for some tools to knock out the uh, the knockouts on um, you know, a hammer, whatever, more hammer to knock out the knockouts on the breaker box. Let's get to it. All right, the gremlins are helping, but uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna need some lumens for this, I think, is we're gonna run this wire and this wire through the knockouts and uh, set up the breakers in this breaker box. And then I can, I don't know, run an extension cord and just wire it to the breaker box or something and then just plug it into an outlet. And that'll give me 120 volts out here so I can run these LEDs inside. And then I can do more stuff. Oh, these shadows are terrible in here, but we're gonna deal with it. So, what I need to do is knock out probably, I'm thinking this one and this one over here, and I'll run these two wires through right in that location. I think that's what I'll do. Now the, uh, the electricians are gonna have a meltdown on this one. Sorry guys, uh, I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, it's very king. Did it come up? A little bit. Look at that. I'm already getting better at my job. Now, I, uh, I do not know which of these circuits is for the light and which is for the outlet right here. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna wire up both of them. You know, this no light thing in there is nonsense. Uh, we're gonna remedy that right now. Takes a little bit of climbing. We'll be all right. How are our wasps doing? What's up guys, you okay? Yep, they're fine. Doing a good job. They just won't leave. Yeah, what I need is this. But, ah, they're spring-loaded. Hang on, I gotta climb over this box. Awkward. Here, you guys go over there. Come out. And you know what, I'm taking this one too, just in case uh, the other one goes dead. All right, let's get out of here, a little warm. There we go, mind the footing. One hand for yourself and one for the boat. Take the goods. Perfect. All right, we'll hang the snap on light over there for now that's in reserve. We'll get that one later. Reason being is that light has like a 45 minute battery and they're not changeable like the Milwaukee light. So we're just gonna use the Milwaukee light for right now. <laughs> More lumens. You guys go right there. Perfect. You know, this is actually like kind of a special moment because if I can create a video where I'm like not working on a car, that means I can do all kinds of cool video things. Uh, frame rate. I didn't know that. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, right now. Do you want to help? Mm, I've been doing my own stuff. Okay, you keep taping that to the wall and I'll hang out over here and fix the electrical stuff. I'm making it like a birthday party. Are you? I like birthday parties. So we're gonna cut this. We need to cut it like right here. I don't know how to cut this stuff. How do I cut this stuff, you guys, without cutting the, the wire? Do you know? Nope. I don't know. I don't know how to cut this. Hmm, I'm gonna have to Google that before I begin. 
to the phone. I don't know how to do that. Okay, all right, I figured it out. I know what to do. Um, this is not a stroke of genius. I saw this on a YouTube video. But what I'm gonna do, and I hope it works because I think I only have one shot at this. I'm gonna vice grip one side and then I'll vice grip the other side and I will mechanically separate the two sides. Gotta use my little vice grips though. Uh, clockwise, clockwise. Mm, no, it's not working. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, it's separated. Now I just need to snip it off with some knipexes. And then I can strip the wire out of it, or strip it off the wire. It's kind of boogered up. Let's undo that. Oh, that's terrible. Shards of metal. No, it did not dig into the into the wires. I'll show you in a second. Hope you can hear me. There's a cabinet between us. All the drawers came open. Probably sound all muffled like a Muppet. We'll trim those sharp edges off. I know this is probably the point where I did it wrong because this should be flat and stuff, but it's my first time. Come out. Come out, conduit. Oh, the end's a little not straight. Hang on. And the electricians, again, y'all are going rookie. It's not working. I can't get it to pull, pull out. <laughs> there we go, got it. Last time was too tight, there we go. I like that. Cool. This is gonna work. Are you a dog? No? Get a miss. We're getting somewhere now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is feed these wires through and then I will fasten them to the breaker box with these little connectors right here. Gravity, connector gravity. And I'll do the longer wired one first. It's the hardest. Mm, nope, fail. Okay, uh, five minutes into this and I've already made an error because I need to run the wire through these connectors before it goes through the box. So I'm just gonna pull this back out. Because I love my jobs so much, I do them twice. Yeah, here's how we're gonna do this. Yeah, now I'm using my noodle. Don't need that. Cut that off in a minute. Flashlight gravity again. It never stops. Clean. Yeah, 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 I like this. This is good. Let me trim off this excess wire here. It's like an extra 18 inches, don't need that. 
thought there was supposed to be a washer that goes in there. Maybe not. Come on, almost. Get in there. Please? Hmm. Yeah. I asked it nicely. And it complied. Can't see. Is that straight? Uh, almost. Click, electrical clip. And then up top, I just need to run these screws in and that will clamp down on this metal conduit and secure the wire. I think that's how that goes. There, now it's straight. Nice and even like, yes. Click. Got it. Hey, this is kind of fun. I think I'm gonna switch careers and just be an electrician. What do you guys think? It's probably gonna be less doodly doos, but we can still have fun. Here, I need to loosen that some more. There, that fits. Okay, go in your hole, please. All right, second one is almost in. We're getting there. A little nut. Oh, that one went on perfect. It's because I wasn't looking at it. Unbelievable. Yeah, the first one I couldn't get on, I was looking right at it, and then the second one, I wasn't. Mix. Alright. Cool. Two wires secured. Now I just need to wire them and put the breakers in. Let's see, that's our that's our ground. That's our neutral. And these are our breakers. Okay. So here, I think uh, first things first, I'll separate the neutrals. I think white's neutral, right? Yes. Separate these, and then we'll run the ground, and then we'll run the hots after we install the breakers. That's what I'm thinking. Go over there. These are like reverse dangly bits. They're dangling towards us. It's a new one. Okay, how do I want to do this? Let's see. These are gripping pliers, not cutting pliers. I just want to put some bends in this wire so it's tucked into the corner very neatly. See if these are gonna work. I never used them. I bought them from the use tool section on the, uh, I think the Matco truck. I don't know if I like them. I can hear you. Whoa, that was self-induced flashlight gravity. Smacked it with pliers. All right, what was I doing? That way, and then we bend it that way. Hey, it is what it is. I think it's slick, okay? That's how it's gonna be. Did I cut enough? Yeah, yeah, it went all the way through. The screwdriver's too big. Click. Yeah, that's a hardcore couple of 90s. I probably didn't have to do it like that. That's how it worked out. Okay, this one, we maybe 
left hand turn. It's kind of sharp. There. Yeah, there we go. No silly 90 degrees. We'll just make it do the loop. Oh no, frame rate. I see a weird frame rate thing from the LEDs. Okay, ground wire number two. That's going in. Click. That's good. I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. Okay, over here on our first hot circuit, I've kind of pre-bent this and uh, set it up to fit. So when it's in the breaker, it'll be flush against the back. So let's go ahead and screw that thing in and then uh, we'll mount the first breaker. Unclicks. I hope that's gonna fit okay. I think it will. I bent it so it should, so it should. Are you being a zombie, kid? Yeah, my daughter's a zombie today. Breaker click. Well, if you're a zombie, you can't talk. Oh, that's nice. I like that. All right. Yeah, check it out. I think that's pretty good. And then it runs up the side. I'll do the other one the same way. Okay, fast forwarding a little bit. I've got them connected. Neutrals, neutrals. Everybody's tucked away. The grounds and the hots. Two breakers are in. Uh, I don't like the look of spaced out breakers, but I'm only going to run one circuit to this for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this other one in there just to fill the gap. There. You off. You on. Yes, I probably could have just run one breaker for those two circuits, but uh, I've got the three here, so I just chose to use two. I can I can switch that up later on if I want. Okay, so I need a sacrificial extension cord. Hello, kitty. You shouldn't be in here. You're gonna get locked in. Um, I've got plenty back here, and I know that there's one that has a very bad end on it. I think I'll use that one. I think it's this nasty looking one right here. Come here. Oh, there's more. Hang on. You guys hang. Wait over here. I swear this whole video is shot in the darkness. It's all about the darkness. But no worries. I will bring light to the subject. Uh, I don't need this. That's a plastic hose. But I do need this. Alright, I've got the goods. Let's get out of here. Look. They are angered with our presence. But you can't get me. Ha ha. Watch it blow on them. You know, we should start naming them soon. Pretty sure. Yeah, they're they're a little more scary from the from this side. Nope, no thanks. Not gonna happen. All right, back inside and good timing because the sun's going down. So I've got the uh, other end of the cord here. I'm gonna cut this off and then just wire this extension cord to that box. That way I can have some lights in here. It'll it'll work for now, not a permanent solution, but for now this will work. All right, first things first, we do not need this. Goodbye. Hmm, it's gonna be a little tough to, uh, to strip that off. Didn't think that through. Well, not very well. Mm hmm that's gonna work. It wasn't enough, so I cut off three more inches. You know, I'm not even going to uh, bother with the ground wire because the male side of this plug, this is so sketchy, does not have a, a ground pin in it. So uh, 
we're just going to skip that part in the name of science. So uh, all I've got to do is connect our neutral to our neutral bar. Yes, I could go right here in the big lug, but um, it's just not going to fit very well. So I'll just pick a spot right here. I think that was the one, was it? Oh, you guys are going to be so bad at me for like just the super sketchery going on here. It's a temporary solution. I'll take a trip to Home Depot and do this properly with a, an outlet and a plug and all that good stuff. But for right now, we're doing this because I want some lights to work and I want it to happen today. Is this going to work? That's not going to fit in there very well. Oh, I'm going to do something. This is going to be so bad. Oh, wrong one. This one. This is going to be so bad. I'm going to back feed it through a breaker. Now, all right, now I've, I've earned it now. You guys can, you guys can re all you want. I, I deserve whatever I get for this one. This is 100% not the way to do this. This is what happens when a uh, auto mechanic decides to do electrical work. And I can't put it there because that's a different leg. Yes, I know that. So we're going to put it here. Bzz. There, that's super safe. Definitely for a mobile application. Let's go plug it in and see if we have lights. Look out, chicken. Okay, here goes nothing. It's going to work. Bzz. So far, so good. Lumens. Nice. That's cool. Uh-oh. Ones in the back don't work. Oh no. I wonder what's going on with those. Hmm. Maybe they're wired backwards. LEDs don't like to be wired backwards. Is there a switch? No. Well, that's not cool. Why aren't you guys working? All right, well, I got most of them on, so that's cool. We have we have lumens in here now. Now I can party in here all night. All right. And we're charging batteries. That's cool, because the, the flashlight is dead. Ding, voicemail, scam caller, don't care. Click. Nice, nice, nice. This is good. All right, guys, we got step one of whatever this trailer's turning into. Uh, we now have lumens. Mostly. We have like 75% lumens. Still missing a little bit over there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Uh, as always, like, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a little different. Uh, I'm working on that. There's things in motion. So right now, you guys just get to deal with uh, whatever I'm doing until I figure out what I'm doing. So uh, until then, as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, uh, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Wait a minute here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I see it. Yeah, see that? It's not plugged in. Yeah, oh. ha! Now it is. Okay, we have maximum lumen capabilities now. For now. So, hang on a second. We, uh, I'm skipping ahead to, to stick this scene in. Uh, it's a couple days later and that extension cord is no more. You can see I've got uh, a much larger cord run. Um, it is gonna get its own pass through through the side or the, the front of the trailer, but for now it's just running out of the door. But I've, uh, I've done this in a more legitimate fashion because that extension cord, that was, uh, it just wasn't working out for me. So let me show you what's going on here. I went ahead and ordered a, or bought a roll of 100 feet. I think this is 12.3. What was that? What is it? Anyway, yeah. There it is, 12.3 outdoor. I've got a huge long run of it running uh, up into the trailer and I've connected that to a 30 amp three prong connector uh, for the RV. So I can just uh, pull power straight from here. It's breakered, actually it's breakered more than once uh, through a sub panel and through the connection over there. So that is much safer and more better -er than that uh, hacky hack extension cord that was running up into the house. All right, so I'm out here in the trailer kind of 
organizing a few things, trying to set some stuff up. I'm not sure how I'm doing this, but I decided I wanted to have, yeah, I decided I wanted to have one of my toolboxes in here instead of that cabinet that's over there because the toolbox is the same size as that cabinet space, yet has more drawers and storage. So I backed this trailer up to this trailer. That way I could unload it. And I wish I'd have filmed it because it was awesome. Check this out. It's perfect. It's just totally perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I really wish I would have filmed that. Oh well, it is what it is, but check it out. It's like a hundred feet of truck and trailer. Got it pretty, got it pretty close to the ramp too. Could have gone back another couple inches, whatever. Now let's see if the ramp is gonna bridge the gap because I'm only here by myself and uh, there's no one to assist me. This is gonna work. This is totally gonna work. Nice. Yeah, it works. Front row. Good. This is actually too far back. I need to pull it forward about six inches. Oops. It's Ray's Repairs, nighttime edition. Restarting the engine. About. Ooh, that gate is swinging. We don't want that. Let's make sure it doesn't swing and smack the side of the trailer. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, this will do. I'm good with that. Good. And windows up. Mosquitoes are everywhere. Powering down. Of course, crashing. Go. Get in there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I uh, I think I like this better. This cabinet is going away, and I moved my double bank toolbox over here in that area. I think I'm gonna leave this here permanently. This is like kind of perfect. I, I wish it was black in color, but uh, the, the blue is gonna work out. So what I need to do tomorrow probably is figure out how to affix this so it won't roll around. And then I'll, I'll figure out how to make this thing bolt onto the toolbox so that doesn't fly off. And I need to cut this to fit a little bit. I need to take like, what, five, six inches off. I wanna do it almost flush with right here. Yeah, that's, I think that's gonna be better. It, it does weigh a little bit more, but there's much more storage there than there is here. Oh, I didn't tell you, I hung this cabinet over here on the left. So this one there, one there. Mm-hmm. 